Hey everybody, it's Red Panda Gamer here from our V V V V V V. I had to count that all on my fingers because I don't know, saying V a bunch of times confuses me. In the last episode, this seems like a good place to store shiny things. Victoria loved the study. Okay, whatever. I hope she's okay. So basically, we put those over there to get studied by Victoria, and we'll meet Victoria later on, but only if she's okay. So this game, like trying to get to the missions themselves can be a little weird from time to time. You kind of just have to plunge yourself throughout the world, and eventually you find where to go, hopefully. Unless you're an idiot. Oh god, I didn't know there were going to be spikes there. Uh, uh. Oh my god, did I really just do that? Like, without even thinking, I like didn't even have to think about doing that, I just did it perfectly. Because I'm Red Panda Gamer! Oh, did I mention this is episode 2? Because it is. <laughs> um, woo, teleporter. Um, so we have the teleport divot. And I'm pretty sure this level, let me try, I'm trying, yep, oh crap, I did not want to do this. Oh, jeez. Okay, guys, this is the tower. This is actually the last thing I did before I started LPing this when I was playing about myself, and this is just so much fun. But maybe I'll be able to do it really well because I just did it. Uh -huh. Uh, uh. But yeah, basically, ah, oh man, I missed the disc. The identity disc from Tron. Oh, I'm actually doing a really good job. Run, 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 Captain. Oh, my God. I, no, I'm, I might do this without dying once. Oh, I almost died then. I'm so scared to do anything. No, oh, I was making, I went so far. Yeah, you have to fall at the last possible second when you get farther up here. Go. Uh, go. So a lot of you guys are actually pretty much enjoying this game. Oh, man. So a lot of you guys are actually enjoying this game, which is good. Oh, my God. I mean, if you ever want to find it, to... oh, my God. And the death ensues. Um, if you ever want to play this game for yourself, I think it's $9.99 to... Oh my god, $9.99 depending on where you buy it. I know it's available on the Mac, uh, the Mac Apple Store, the Mac App Store. I don't know how many of you are. Uh, how do I do this? I forgot. I don't know how many of you are app uh, Mac users, but I am. <laughs> I'm a Mac user. But um, also, I think you can still technically sign up for the uh, Humble Indie Bundle, or at least next time when it starts. When it starts up again, they normally uh, let you download older games, but not always, so I don't know. And there's like an achievement for dying less than 250 times. I don't think I'm going to get that. Oh my god. Oh, I think I just remembered what I have to do. Well, I mean, other than this. You can go around like that. I forgot about that. <laughs> that was dumb. But it still is okay. Yeah, the tower is easily one of the harder parts of the game, just as far as like needing to think fast and, ah, oh, shit, like that for example, like thinking fast but not thinking, thinking at a good pace really, because if you go too fast, you might know exactly what you need to do, but you might run into spikes, <laughs> or you might fall to the ceiling too fast or something like that, so you need to find a good pace for your, oh god, yeah, that, can, that this part's kind of annoying. But yeah, I recommend getting this game if you can. Um, it's one of the best indie developed games I've played in a long time. I'm a big fan of indie developed games, uh, depending of. Oh, dang it. So you kind of gotta wait for the last minute to do this part. No! There we go. Go, Captain. It's your birthday. Go, Captain. Ah. And this is also a level where you really don't want to miss checkpoints just because. Oh, I forgot about that. Because, yeah, you don't want to get pushed back too far in the game. Just because it can get pretty difficult. Woo, I did it! Oh my god. And there's Red. Hey, Red. Seeing Red. Captain! Am I ever glad to see you? I thought I was the only one to escape the ship. Vermilion, I knew you'd be okay. So what's the situation? Like the situation? Oh god, I can't believe I said that. I see. Well, we'd better head back then. There's a teleporter in the next room. What happened to my accent? Yay! The teleporters are so epic. Level complete! 
Uh, oh, I've only been recording five minutes. You've rescued a new crew member. Three remain. I wish this game came out for like the NES. If anyone knows how to hack NES cartridges, make an NES cartridge of this and send it to me. I'll pay any amount of money for it. Whee! Okay, so we saved Vermilion and we found Violet. So next... Oh, shit. <laughs> next we have uh, our blue character, our green character, and I believe we have a yellow character. I think that's it. That's three, I think. And those are all different colors. If I do remember correctly. Um, it's good to find the teleporters, too, because they are actually save points, but... Oh, yeah, we already found the next part. Get ready to bounce. Bounce, bounce, whoa, okay. So for these, we have these lines, the lines down there, that'll bounce you. So when you do gravity, oh my god. When you do gravity, it bounces you right back to where you were at. Or into the spikes, if you're an idiot like me. Um, and basically they make it like ones like these, where you just have to kind of keep going, and just kind of time it right. Um, these are, these can be pretty difficult. These can be difficult if you're exhausted because it's one in the morning like it is right now for me. But for the most part, they're not too bad. Um, eh, alright. It turns out the key to, is to stabilizing this dimension was to create a balancing force outside of it. Though it looks like that's just a temporary solution, at best. I've been working on something more permanent, but it seems it's going to be too late. Oh, that's a bummer. Uh, double slit experiment. So that one you do like this kinda. Well, let's see if I can. Nah, I don't. I don't know how we're supposed to get up there. Oh wait, yeah. And those are spikes. Sometimes it's easy to miss that, but yeah, you can't just walk into them or fall into them or die. And they called him Flipper, like the freaking movie. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Speaking of words that rhyme with Ipper. You guys remember what uh, Eddie from Ed and Eddie's uh, middle name was? If you do, you get a cookie. Ed and Eddie, Eddie's middle name. If you can answer it right, I'll be pretty impressed. Not too impressed, but impressed nonetheless. Uh, uh, it'll make me like you more as a human being. Oh, come on, we did that perfectly. How did we screw? Oh, here we go. I also have to be kind of quiet right now because, like I said, it is pretty. Terminal. Syntax error? Fine, fuck you. Syntax. I am the god of syntax, and I bring you errors. Um, but yeah, I have to be quiet, and unfortunately this is not a fun game to be quiet at, because it's fun to rage, but I don't get to rage. Which may be for the better. <laughs> I seem to be actually doing pretty well. Last time I, I was playing this on the train the other day, and I was getting so mad, and this lady was just staring at me. She's like, what are you doing? Like, I'm playing V, 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 V. Now leave me alone and go back to your Blackberry. Even though she was on an Android and not a Blackberry, but it, it, does it really matter? I mean, that wasn't the point, but she was just kind of being snooty. She's like, oh, you think I would have a Blackberry? Please, that's so 2005. It's all about the Android now. Get with it, kid. Like, screw you, I'm with a freaking, I have a MacBook Pro. You think I'm not with it? Like, that's totally a model from two years ago. I'm like, the newest model has nothing different. Except for, like, a little bit of a better... Actually, I really don't think there's any difference between the MacBook Pro from this year and last year. Oh, wow, that was really stupid. Yeah, this part can be kind of annoying because I always screw up on this. For your mind, I changed my mind. God dang it! No, why did I do that? I can't do this. I quit this LP. I can't do it. It's too hard. Well, maybe you should have thought of that before you chose it. Well, shut up, mean lady who still won't shut up about her stupid android. I told you, it's a droid X. No, you never actually said that, so shut up. Okay. <laughs> I'm talking to myself. Okay, a good thing I saved right there. I would have been pissed if I didn't. Game saved. Um, whoa. Okay. Uh, we have a little bit of a maze here. I'm not going to bother with that. Oh, cool, we get a... Identity disc wannabe. Did you guys see Tron? A any of the Trons, the original or Legacy? I mean, I know I've, I've asked before, but I um, Wee, I found it. That's two out of twenty, I think. Unless I found a third, but I didn't think I did. Or a second. That would be the third. Never mind. Um, 
I found out today that Tyler Perry is one of the richest television or uh, film producers in Hollywood, which really made me mad. I personally don't enjoy his films. In fact, I kind of find them offensive in a way. He kind of just profits off of stereotypes. So, hey, Vermillion, what are you doing here? Seriously, what are you doing here? Hi, I'm helping. How are you helping? You're just kind of standing there. <laughs> Moral support. Okay, this part can be a little irritating. And really all it's for is for a disc, so if you can't do it, it's really okay, there's no reason to. But it's not too bad. It's it's fun to try and do everything. I don't think I'm gonna get all the discs. I mean, I already missed, like, what did I miss? Like, two on the tower. I'll try and get as many as I can, and if I think it's possible for me to get... Oh, jeez. Wasn't paying attention. Too busy talking. That's what you do in a Let's Play, you talk. You're talking like 90% of that playthrough. Oh, yeah, these, um, blocks will kill you. One of the many things that'll murder you in this game. You know, th these VVV characters have the same issue that Mega Man has. He just He's too vulnerable to everything. Spikes, random floaty thingies, more random floaty... Oh, God. You know, the first time I did this, I thought of th this was like the easiest part. Okay, train, train. I hope you guys don't hear that train, because it is loud. Ha! Ha! Oh, I passed you. Oh, dead. Huh? Huh? No. There we go. Yeah, sometimes you have to bounce in a very specific way. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Oh, wait, what's the next one? I forgot. Playing foosball. Oh, I remember. Oh, God. This is going to take me a while, guys. I may or may not have to end the episode here because when I was doing this on the train the other day, it literally took me, like, an hour to do. Like, I'm not even kidding. It was horrible how long it took me to do this. Um... There is a way that I found to do it, is like uh, falling on top of the spikes, like on the square part of them. But it, I don't know, I don't really like doing it like, no, I could have made it that time. I just get too tense, like, I'm, you know, you can't see me right now, but I could really use a back massage, and unfortunately Lauren's home asleep right now, so I can't get that back massage. But, God, if she was here, I could probably do this, because it's just, these kinds of missions make me so tense. So tense. Oh, Shit. Suck! God damn it! Oh, damn it! If I can't, no! It got me right in the butt. Oh, dear, I fucking did it! Oh my god! I feel like the freaking most achieved person in the world. Might as well give me the no. Damn it! Might as well give me a Nobel, awesome prize because I didn't really do anything to promote peace or science or anything like that. But still, I freaking beat the freaking different chords. Difficult chords, not different. I don't know what that said. I Wait, yeah, difficult. A difficult chord. You gotta spell it right on the prize, so I gotta make sure I get it right. Fucking shit! This game needs more checkpoints. <laughs> not really, I just need to get better at this game. That's what it comes down to. That's what you're all saying to yourself. I mean, it's alright, I'm not a fan. <sighs> See, and like, when I get to this part, I think, oh, I made it! And, no! Dude, Captain! Captain Planet, you're being stupid. You're being really stupid. Okay, there we go. Ah, diode. Ah, I smell ozone. <gasps> hey, why so blue? Oh no, Captain, are you stuck here too? It's okay, I'm here to rescue you. Let me explain everything. What? I didn't understand any of that. Oh well, don't worry. Follow me, everything will be alright. Sniff, really? Okay then. Okay, so now friggin' Blue followed the Philadelphia experiment. Wee! Wee! And we teleport. Level complete. So, guys, this is gonna be about the end of the episode. We rescued a crew member and we have two left. So, hopefully, we can get at least both of them in the next two episodes. So, there should be. What the hell? Wah! Captain, are you okay? I'm okay. This. This isn't the ship. Where are we? Wah! Something's gone wrong. We should look for a way back. Okay, so... Now, the way, basically, the way it works is she follows us around. Um, I'm going to get more into this in the next episode, but for now... I'm going to get on out of here. Oh, there's six? Oh, no. Six counting me. Oh, God, 145? Jesus Christ. Alright, well, thank you guys for watching. I'm Red Panda Gamer. Have a good one, everyone.